defender of justice and a protector of the weak. Nicely done, but... You haven't seen everything we can do. What? Damn, time to recharge. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Please, sir. Oh no, I'm not done with you yet. Mr. Tabata, I'm afraid the Codebreakers have infiltrated the grounds of the compound. They think that they can stop me? Just let them try. So what interest does the government have in running tests on children with abilities? Ah, well it's simple really. You see, it's recruitment. Wait, you mean... Ogumi and I take orders directly from the Prime Minister. You, you're joking! Think about it, huh? How else would we have clearance to do half the crap we're asked? Evil tends to move in high places. What's going on? Children the Brass have taken a special interest in. More than a few were rescued from the streets. Now they're prodded and jabbed like pincushions. What's the end game? What does the government want out of them? Various things, I imagine. Hey, at least they get three squares a day in a bed, right? Something wrong? Earlier, outside fighting those two creeps. It's bothering me that their power just ran out. You don't think they just went lost? You keep using that phrase. What's it mean? Hmm, that's a tricky concept. What is it? Uh, Pop! It smells like a slaughterhouse in here. Uh. Well, the report's three for three. even want to think about it. Such resilience. Always an admirable trait. Welcome to my lab. So you the Mr. Big behind this outfit? Tricked out facilities, I'll give you that. Could have done without the freaks you got guarding your front door, though. <laughs> They're just prototypes, really. Nothing like the real thing. Diet member Shigeru Tabata. If you follow politics, then you know his name. Whole research program is his brainchild, really. So the government is behind all this. Oh, wait for it. <laughs> no. Interesting. Looks like some vital organs are missing. Eden's not happy with you, Mr. Tabata. It's bad enough you've been killing them. But man, trafficking in their organs? Come on. What would possess you to do this? I don't answer to you, kid. Leave well enough alone. Let's just say it's important work. Try and look at it this way. We're empowering the helpless. Sure, not all kids are created equal. Sometimes we trim the fat. Unfortunate, but... <laughs> Rest assured, not a scrap of them goes to waste. No, no, we may damn sure of that. Stop talking! This is horrible! What you're doing is inhuman! <laughs> That's one way of putting it, I guess. Let's show her how inhuman. I understand. They're not useful to anyone. Not like this. Ha! <laughs> the voice of reason. Would you say you're as good as your best test subjects? What? I only ask because I'm here to trim the fat. Not gonna be much in the way of scraps when I'm done, though. We'll just have to write this one off. Burn to nothing. Burn this! Stay back 
and let us do our thing. Die! <laughs> So close! Cool it on the stunt show crap! You're out of your mind if you think we're just messing around here! You're out of your mind if you think I'm letting you out of here alive! Uh, now we're screwed. <laughs> Can't wait to open you up and see what's inside! <laughs> Running from the enemy? What kind of code breaker are you anyway? You know what? I do not like this guy. Hang on. That thing on his back. Huh? Why not get rid of it? Isn't it just weighing him down? <sighs> uh, you code breakers are so predictable. Hey, Juice Box! Let's hike up the goddamn power! Unless you want to be harvested! You bastard! What the hell? That's cheating! Come on! Now you're just taking cheap shots! Yeah, there's definitely something about that funny-looking backpack he's eager to protect. Yeah. Things gotta go! No! Oh, oh, nice try. Sorry, honey. See this? Reinforced carbon. Impervious to your genetic arsenal. Sorry. Uh, you're a pain in the ass. Shifty little spaz hitting me from behind, huh? huh? What's wrong with you? No one told you to stop. Make with the power or you'll end up like your brother. Wait, what? Snooze, you lose. And done. It's a child. Worthless piece of crap! They always fizzle out! Damn it! So that's your secret. Yeah, well, there's a downside. They don't have much staying power to fight. That right. Huh, too bad. Oh god, no! Please be alright! They cut my little brother up because he was weak. Because his powers weren't useful. He heard her voice. My little sister. She needed help, but I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do anything, and now I can't hear her. Get them back. Kill them all. For my brother's sake. They murdered her. I know it. They deserve to die for what they've done. Please kill them! No! Think about what you're doing! We're not so different, you this and I! This is unbearable! An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, and a hammer of justice for all evil. Dead is dead. I don't 
Answer me this. What makes someone a hero? Other than their talent, why do we put them on a pedestal? Ugh, this is no time for- Give it some thought. They do what others can't. Sacrifice their humanity on the altar of justice. <laughs> Besides, it's not like you're gonna reach him with the state you're in. You're not even convinced Ogami's wrong. Yes, I am! Cut my little brother up because... Get them back. Kill them all. Thank you, sir. You presume to judge me? You know nothing! My pain is my justification, same as yours! Daddy? Daddy? What's happening? Why are all these people here? Jisa! Is that his daughter? It's okay. We're all heroes, just like in your little book, right? Uh, oh, wow! You're Fireball Man, aren't you? I've been waiting to meet you for so long. Daddy said you'd make the bad parts inside of me into a molten lava core just like you've got. He was right. You're the best hero ever. Thank you. And don't worry, I'll be good. Maybe I can even be your psychic and we can fight together. I don't believe it. Tabata was doing all this to find a cure for his little girl. Well, I suppose it's obvious why you jumped at the chance to spearhead this little project. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a bit surprised by this, and touched. Still, though, seriously? I mean, sure, I can see it from your point of view, but... killing all those children? Shut up! What was I supposed to do, just let her die? She's been on the transplant list for a year! We don't have the luxury of time! And how many daughters did you kill so your daughter could live? That's pretty messed up. <clears throat> how dare you! You have no right to talk! How many lives have fallen to you and your kind, huh? Government-sanctioned murderers, that's what you are! That's right, a glorified death squad! At least these children died with their innocence intact and not following your path! Here their deaths served a purpose. Here they could save a life instead of ending countless others. Tell me what I've done is evil. Tell me I should have killed my little girl. Jesus, my everything. She's all that I have. Yes, I'm a murderer. Fine. And for my daughter's sake, I would gladly- Murder countless other children. I can sympathize with a monster and still wipe him out of existence. We're all monsters in the end, aren't we? I guess so. Shut up and listen to me. I met a boy tonight so full of hate, so twisted he wanted someone else to suffer. Is that what it takes to save your daughter's life? Spreading that kind of misery? You son of a bitch! Who do you think you are?! You had no right! You had no right! Get them back. You had no right! No one does. That boy was alive moments ago. His heart was beating, his eyes questioning. And I... I watched as the flame went out. I saw the life ebb from his little body. It's a terrible thing to watch someone die like that. Especially someone so young. But I'll tell you something, Mr. Tabata. If it had been you... Even given what you've done, I would have felt the same! Daddy... Don't kill this man! Forgive what he's done! Even someone as corrupt as this is worth preserving! I shouldn't... I shouldn't have done what I did if they had their whole lives ahead of them. I beg you, save her. <laughs> Moment of truth, fireball men. 
If you're the hero, then I'm the villain! Come on, don't hesitate now! You know me! I'm Devil Fiend, your greatest adversary! What are you doing? Daddy, I'm scared. <sighs> I'm sorry, honey. He's not here for you. He's come for me. His arch nemesis in disguise. Uh-uh, that's not true! He's just doing his job as a hero. After all, he's got a world to protect, right? If he can escape my evil clutches! Listen to me. If you still hate me by the time you're old enough to settle the score, I'll be waiting for you. Your face as it is now will be etched into my memory. Chisa! Relax, she's just passed out. It's what she gets for being out of bed. I'll call an ambulance. She'll be fine. Right, thank you. Ogami, I know you said that to her to make her despise you, and I think it was right. I think it was an extraordinarily noble thing to do. It will give her tragedy some kind of purpose. That's good. Whether you care to acknowledge it or not, anyone who could accept a burden like that can't be bad. Stop it. To do what I do, a man has to be rotten to his very core. There is no good in me. I'm the same as those I hunt. Yes, Tabata's been neutralized. I told you not to worry. The research data's being moved to... <gasps> moved to where? I can't help but be curious. I imagine that's all pretty classified stuff. Isn't it, Mr. Suno? No, great, one of you people. Reporting into the head enchilada behind this whole deal? Give it. I'd like a word with the man. Get me out of here now! It's a code breaker! Thank you for your service. Oh, God, no! This isn't... This isn't right! I did everything I was told! No, wait! I don't want to die! Poor you. Well, congratulations, asshole. You just threw my lead. Ah, Toki. Now there's a voice I'll never tire of. It's you. You're Code Zero. I should have known. I guess I'm not in your thoughts as often as you're in mine. Sad. Good news, sir. The children have been secured. They're in transit to Lab 4 as we speak. Excellent. Thank you. Oh my. Evidently letting Tabata head up the research department wasn't exactly the brightest of ideas. What some idiots won't do to protect their genetic legacy. Nothing good comes of putting family before state. Privileged words for a man who can have his cake and eat it too. Ah, strike a nerve, did I? Child welfare is cause now? Your master is so changeable. 